Bowden from Rock History Music back. Man, did, what didn't I just do this? Didn't I just get on here and do this? I think so. Oh my, my on-air sign can't be seen. Wait. There we go. There you go. You can't really see it from there. It's all scrabbly. Scrabbly. <laughs> John Bowden from Rock History Music. Classic songs by Journey and Queen are going to be inducted into the the Library of Congress Registry, which is a great honor. There's several songs from different genres that get in every single year. But Journey's Don't Stop Believing, their big song. I saw that uh, Escape Tour. It's the only time I saw uh, the band. And Queen's Bohemian Rhapsody uh, are each been selected for the Library of Congress National Recording Registry. Now, this is a big thing for Steve Perry. Queen is not made a statement as of yet they might have in the last hour but the national registry receives over 1,000 public nominations per year the two classic songs are among 25 recordings that the library um, selected to be inducted this year and the registry has about 500 uh, tunes in there uh, 4 million items so Steve Perry hi Richard Thank you for loving my channel. Appreciate that. Steve Perry, uh, who's from a Portuguese family, from Portuguese immigrants, he says he was ecstatic at, at the nomination. This is what Steve says. This is the greatest honor of my life. I've gotten platinum albums and gold albums, and I've been inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. But for my mother, my father, my grandparents, I'm truly beside myself that this is happening. It's an only in America kind of thing. Um, of course, Bohemian Rhapsody came out in 1975 for Queen. And uh, I had both albums, I mean, especially Queen. When Queen came out with Bohemian Rhapsody, it was really a literally scratch your head thing where we had not heard anything like this when Queen came out with it. It's like one of those left overture, carry on wayward son, Kansas sort of things. Or a, a Paradise by the Dashboard Light, you know, where you're taking a huge chance with a particular song. And you never know what you're going to get. So congratulations. Just wanted to make a quick announcement on that. Because whenever that happens, I think it's pretty cool. I'm going to get to your comments in a second. That's my last stream. Let's take that out. Okay, hold on. There's the video. Oh my God, that is fast. What the heck? Uh, Richard Perez, hello. I love your channels. Thank you very much, Richard. I appreciate that. Melody, hi again. Yeah, I know. I came on. Melody, you can't get rid of me. I'm like omnipotent, omnipresent. I'm like everywhere. What the heck? Christopher, hi, John. Great channels. Congratulations to both Journey and Queen. Songs that uh, have several lives from movies. I st- talked to Jonathan Cain. I've never talked to anybody in Queen. Um, I talked to Lenny Zakatek, who was involved uh, with John Deacon's, uh, a band with John Deacon, and he said John was very quiet. But that's the closest I've gotten to Queen. Um, Jonathan Cain I interviewed a few years ago. It's on this channel if you ever want to check it out. Uh, great interview. Jonathan's very forthright. He just released his, his new book at the time. Um, John Erickson says, don't stop believing. And, or Joan Erickson, I'm sorry. Hi, John. Love your channel. I could at least get your name right. What the heck? People ask me all the time what kind of lights I use. I just use these babies, you know, these kind of roundy things. I have one here, and they blink, by the way. So I wouldn't advise, if you don't have a big budget, which we do not, I wouldn't advise buying those because they strobe after a while. They start strobing. And this one here I bought at Costco. It's a smaller one. It's a tiny bit better, but not, not a lot better. I always see people at Costco bringing them back. So, But anyway, I just wanted to get on really quickly. Oh, yeah, Christopher628, Deacon was a great bass. Doodle-doom, doom, doom, doodle-doom, doom, 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 and everything before that. But he was, uh, John Deacon was, is one of the guys who said, it's not Queen without Freddie Mercury, and he didn't really want to continue with, with the band. But Lenny Zakatek, who sang multiple songs, uh, after Eric Wolfson, Lenny was the guy who sang the most songs on the Alan Parsons Project. And I interviewed Lenny a few years ago, and he said he really enjoyed working with um, with John Deacon. But Don't Stop Believing, yeah, d- 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 Don't Stop Believing is the song. I sometimes forget that people are coming on late here, and you're just joining on. So it's Bohemian Rhapsody from Queen, 
and uh, Don't Stop Believing from Journey, which I say congratulations. And Steve Perry was just beside himself. He says, this is the greatest honor he's ever, that's ever been bestowed on him. He said, this is it because of being, uh, 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 having Portuguese origins for his family, immigrants. He says for his father, his mother, grandparents, it meant an awful lot. He said, it's the greatest thing he's ever received. Um, and he's beside himself. He says, it's an only in, in America kind of thing, which in fact it is, right? So congratulations. By the way, like our videos. Let's, this is what I like. I only have, We only have eight people watching, but we have nine likes. So, uh, you know, that's okay. I, I, I'm okay with that. But anyway, why don't you do a quickie because I didn't want to forget this one. I'd be remiss if I didn't come on besides the fact that these are two classic songs that in 100 years, if the world doesn't get blown up to pieces, <laughs> they'll still be played. So there you go. Take care of yourself, folks. Want to come on and just tip the hat to songs that deserve it. Songs that maybe made us stare at the speakers when they first came on, right? Don't Stop Believing Journey and Queen Bohemian Rhapsody. Two classic songs and classic rock and roll, right? Take good care of yourself. I'm going to sign off. Just wanted to do a quickie. John Bowden with his quickie.